Welcome to my channel, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The headlines screamed across every screen. Teton range splits, massive fissure opens in National Park. On a quiet summer morning, the impossible happened. A deep guttural groan echoed through the mountains, silencing birds and freezing visitors in place. Then with a violent shudder the ground gave way. Cell phone videos flooded social media showing a jagged line tearing across the meadows at the base of the Tetons. Trees toppled, boulders tumbled, and a deafening symphony of destruction filled the air. The world watched, breathless, as a beloved American landmark was violently and permanently remade. The crack, later named the Teton Rift, stretched for miles, severing trails, diverting streams and creating a new canyon where none had existed. News helicopters broadcast surreal images, the postcard-perfect Tetons now scarred by a colossal black fissure. The mountains, symbols of permanence, had revealed their volatile secret. Panic and awe spread in equal measure. Across the globe people were glued to their screens, desperate for answers. Was this an earthquake? A volcanic eruption? The questions came faster than the answers. In Jackson Hole the ground shook violently but the real drama was unfolding just a few miles away. The event was a wake-up call for the world. The forces that shape our planet are always at work, often silently. But on this day they made their presence known with a roar that would echo for decades. The familiar landscape was forever changed. The ground beneath our feet, we learned, is never as solid as we believe. The Tetons had become a symbol not just of beauty, but of nature's unpredictable power, and the world would never look at them the same way again. The first accounts came from people simply enjoying the park. Hikers described a low rumble that grew into a deafening roar, the ground vibrating beneath their boots. One family saw the earth unzip before their eyes, scrambling back as trees and shrubs vanished into the widening chasm. Park rangers responded immediately, their radios crackling with urgent calls. The ground is unstable. They evacuated popular areas guiding stunned tourists to safety, unsure if the rift was still growing. Their bravery was a thin line of defense against an unpredictable force. The emotional impact was profound, shock, disbelief, and a new fear of the mountains. The wilderness was no longer just a beautiful backdrop, it had revealed itself as a living, sometimes violent, entity. As chaos subsided, the park closed to the public, roadblocks turned away curious onlookers, emergency teams set up a command center in Jackson, coordinating with geologists and federal agencies the priority safety and information. How big was the rift? Was it stable? What would happen next? The world waited for answers, the weight of uncertainty heavy on the shoulders of first responders. The story of the Teton Rift was just beginning. To grasp the shock of the Teton Rift, remember the landscape as it was. Grand Teton National Park embodied tranquility, jagged peaks, clear rivers, and meadows filled with wildlife. For generations it was a sanctuary, a place to escape and marvel at nature's permanence. The Tetons stood as silent giants, symbols of strength and stability. Visitors walked the trails confident in the solid ground beneath their feet. The Teton Fault was an abstract concept, a line in a brochure, not a real threat. The park felt like a finished masterpiece, not a canvas still being shaped. The rift shattered that illusion. The sanctuary was revealed as a place of immense, unpredictable power. The contrast between before and after was absolute, a peaceful landscape now marked by a raw, open wound. The memory of that former tranquility now haunts all who remember it. The first to see the full extent of the rift was landscape photographer David Chen. He'd risen before dawn seeking the perfect shot of the Tetons. As he set up his tripod, a tremor shook the ground, followed by a low, grinding sound. From his vantage point he watched a dark line race across the valley, the earth splitting open with terrifying speed. Trees vanished, the ground buckled, and David instinctively began to shoot, no longer capturing beauty, but documenting catastrophe. As the sun rose, a monstrous black scar was revealed, steam rising from its depths. David knew he'd witnessed something extraordinary. He rushed to the park's emergency command post, his images providing the first comprehensive look at the disaster. Officials stared in stunned silence. This was no small landslide, but a massive geological rupture. David's photographs confirmed their worst fears. The rift was historic, its scale undeniable. The quiet photographer had become the first messenger from a newly broken world. His images would shape the world's understanding of what had happened. The story of the Teton Rift was now impossible to ignore. The scientific response was immediate. 
The U.S. Geological Survey mobilized top experts, seismologists, volcanologists, geologists, alarmed by the rift's proximity to Yellowstone. Teams deployed sensitive monitoring equipment, GPS sensors, seismometers, and gas monitors along the chasm. These instruments provided a real-time pulse of the Earth's activity. The goal? Determine the cause and predict what might happen next. Was the rift a sign of new stress on the Teton Fault? Or movement in Yellowstone's magma chamber? The implications were enormous. Scientists compared new data with Yellowstone's historical records, searching for patterns. The command center buzzed with urgency. Maps, laptops, and heated debates filled the room. The pressure was immense, the puzzle complex. Their work would shape the future of the park and the safety of everyone living in the shadow of these awakened mountains. The race for answers was on. The world watched, waiting for science to explain the unthinkable. To understand the Teton Rift, look deep beneath the surface. The Teton Range was born from the Teton Fault, a massive crack in the Earth's crust. For millions of years, land west of the fault rose while the valley dropped, creating the dramatic mountains. The new rift was a violent surface-level expression of this ancient fault. Yellowstone's hotspot, a plume of molten rock, adds complexity, influencing the entire region. Scientists probed whether a shift in Yellowstone's magma triggered the rift. Unlike typical earthquakes, this event tore the ground apart at the surface. The rift offered a rare window into the workings of an active fault influenced by a volcanic hotspot. The data collected is unprecedented, refining our understanding of how faults and volcanoes interact. The Teton Rift is a geological textbook, open to a dramatic new chapter. The Teton Rift sent shockwaves through Jackson Hole and beyond. With the park closed, the local economy collapsed overnight. Hotels, restaurants, and tour operators lost their lifeblood. The rift fractured not just the land, but the community's sense of security. The mountains, once a source of comfort, now inspired anxiety. Every tremor brought fear, public meetings overflowed with questions. Wildlife struggled too, ancient migration routes were severed, animals confused by the new barrier. The rift instantly reshaped entire ecosystems, yet the community showed resilience, neighbors supported each other, businesses adapted, and a new respect for the land emerged. Jackson became a hub for geological research, diversifying its economy. Life in the rift's shadow was different, but the community was determined to endure. The landscape's power was undeniable, but so was the human spirit. The rift had changed everything, but it had also brought people together. In the face of upheaval, they learned to adapt and respect the wild world around them. Reopening Grand Teton National Park was slow and cautious. The area around the Teton Rift became a permanent geological hazard zone, off-limits to the public and intensely monitored. Visitors now face new safety protocols, mandatory briefings, rerouted trails, reinforced shelters, and a park-wide alert system. The goal isn't to eliminate risk, but to manage it through education and technology. The Visitor Center features a state-of-the-art exhibit on the rift and the region's dynamic geology. The park's mission has expanded, from preserving beauty to educating about the forces that create it. Jackson's economy shifted, focusing on research as well as tourism. The community learned the dangers of relying on a single industry. The adaptation was challenging, but it made the region more resilient. The park's new rules reflect a deeper respect for nature's unpredictability. In this geologically active world, preparedness is now a way of life. The Teton Rift is more than a geological feature. It's a profound teacher. Its presence shattered our illusion of control and stability. We are temporary residents on a planet that changes violently and indifferently. The rift sparked scientific curiosity and public engagement, turning geology into a matter of survival. It closed the gap between scientists and the public, fostering a shared sense of purpose. Ultimately, the rift calls for humility and respect for the immense forces shaping our world. Wild places are not just beautiful, they are powerful and unpredictable. Our relationship with nature must shift from ownership to coexistence. The scar will heal over millennia, but its lessons should remain fresh. The Teton Rift stands as a permanent reminder of the Earth's untamable power and the necessity of human humility.